So what up? It's your boy Earl. And it's me, Bamba. AKA the Vape Professor is back at it again with another video. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this time this time we're doing the predator coil builds. Okay? As you've seen in our past videos, we're right now focusing on showing you guys how to do some hybrid flavor chasing builds. Flavor. That being said, the predator coil is commonly used as a single coil. I wouldn't advise doing this in dual coil, as you will see in the close-ups, okay? It's a bit tricky to make, but if you're dexterous enough, it's not going to be that much of an issue. The only issue is, you would need two coil jigs. Yes, you would need two coil jigs. Luckily, the toolkit, the, the Watofo toolkit comes, hold this, hold this, there. With two coil jigs. <laughs> that product placement being done, let's get down to business, close up, and I will show you that. Okay, boys and girls, here's how you do the Predator coil. Everything you need will be in this toolkit. Toolkit. Of course, these don't come with a toolkit, but you need round wires, you need some, you know, fuse claptons or claptons or whatever it is you want to use for staging it and the toolkit of course the Watofo toolkit is what I advise to use why because it comes with two coiling rods now you'll get the picture when you see it being built you'll need two coiling rods okay so let's begin first you get some round wire that should be enough but then again it's always better to have more than less so let me get let me get around 12 inches of wire. That should be enough. 12 inches of wire. I'm going to use a 3 millimeter diameter. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, maybe just 5. No, let's go with 6. I'm going to use 6. 6 loops, 3 millimeters. Give that a tug, give that a tug, cut that, and don't remove. You're gonna see why. Get the other coiling rod, and do the same thing. You go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So as you can see, I have both my coils side by side using two jigs, coiling rods, if you will, side by side. All I need to do now is get my fuse clapped in and wrap it around both rods at the same time, going in between the spaces. So there's one. Right, this is the hardest part, the first loop. Okay, you just need to show some patience. See, now you have these wraps, you can pull it with your pliers from here and here, okay? Should look like a radiator, something like a radiator. All of these legs, you can, plies, you can plier together. Yeah. Yeah. Now you have that, see that, there you go. So that's reading at a point 11, there you go, point 11, single coil. And there you have it folks, the predator coil. And that ladies and gentlemen is how you do the predator coils. Okay. It's a bit tricky, yes. It's a bit warm, yes. But it looks damn good. That, that's it looks damn good. Okay? Especially when you get that uh, low heat burn and you get the colors into the coils. It's really nice looking for Instagram. As you can see on uh, on our Instagram Otofo, 
we put up a picture of the credit coils before. Flavor is really good with this coil for single coil users. As you can see, it looks like three coils together, but it's actually considered as one because the middle or the, the parallel or the predator actually binds the two into one coil. All you need to do is put cotton on the up, cotton on the bottom coil, that's it. So boys and girls, I hope you guys enjoy the predator coils and we will see you in the next video. See ya.